Oh shoot, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Nice job. Okay, put him in the well. I forgot to finish up. I still have one. It's a big one. It's a big one. Put him in the well. He doubled up. Because you're forced to really make decisions and own your time and what you want to do with it. And for us to start there and stay there, and then for us even to run way back in this back area and frog it. And tonight, we have a special guest. She's a very legendary powerhouse of a female angler, and uh, she's the ringer tonight. So come along, it's gonna be a good tourney Tuesday. We'll talk to you once we get in the boat. I just dumped her in the lake. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Tonight is the best night of the week. Tonight is Tourney Tuesday, and a little bit of a switch up tonight. Good buddy Bart, I think he's filming an event on Minnetonka right now, so he can't fish tonight. Good buddy B-Rock, he just left with the Sickness Boys. He's heading to New York to do an open, and tonight we have a special guest. She's a very legendary powerhouse of a female angler, and uh, she's the ringer tonight. So come along, it's gonna be a good Tourney Tuesday. We'll talk to you once we get in the boat. I just dumped her in the lake, and uh, yeah, come on, let's go. Current time check, I think it's 4.30. We've still got a little bit of time here to chill. Um, yeah, it's hot. Conditions tonight, it's like 85 degrees, fairly calm, kind of hazy. I think from the forest fires in Canada. But yeah, it should be a good night to go bass. Any luck? Oh, you guys motor issues? No, I had drain plug. Okay. <laughs> the lake looks gross and green. A lot of algae. I don't know if there's just an algae bloom that recently happened, but it's gross. There's probably two inches of clarity, but we're kind of down here in farm country right now, so. These are the lakes that get really dirty, but also these are lakes that hold giants. Three bait casters, three spinning rods. It is hot. I feel like 200 pounds of butter left out in the sun. I am dripping wet tonight. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let me introduce you to a power female angler, my better half, and the one and only, Steph Hansen. We call her Steph the Great. Steph the Great is an absolute hammer. She's a freaking beast and she loves finesse fishing. So, Steph, talk to me about this lake tonight, kind of how it sets up the elements. This lake, it has a lot of structure in this lake. There's a lot of different humps, little islands, little rock piles. Um, a lot of the shallow area, like 20 feet out from the from the shore, is like choked out with milfoil. So, um, kind of changed our aspects of fishing tonight, but I'm excited because it's my favorite kind of fishing. It's yes. finesse fishing. Yes. So. Let's get it, we'll Do talk it. to you in a sec. So I want to say this is Steph's second tournament ever. We fished one a long time ago, but then we haven't fished one since. And I don't really know why, because she's an absolute beast. But uh, I think Steph has probably pre-fished for 30, 40 tournaments in her life. So to say that like she's new to the tournament game would be totally false. She's locked, she's loaded, and ready to go. And uh, throughout kind of the years of fishing together and having a bunch of different boys in the boat, I got rambunctious pals. They're always up in the front, casting all over. Steph usually kind of sits in the back and takes her time and goes really slow. She's adapted to kind of fishing in the back of the boat. And what she does is she always downsizes and she goes really, really slow. We'll talk to you a little bit later, kind of like what her favorite bait is and her approach and how she likes to fish it. And that happened to be the bait that we caught the two biggest fish out here, kind of when we practiced around a week ago. I'll show you the footage from yeah, last week sometime, out on this lake. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Boom, nice job! <laughs> Stephanie just plunked an absolute juice hog, all-terrain tackle, mighty head jig worm, little black and blue sinko on the end. Hold your fish. Hold your dang fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that was awesome. That's nice. Oh, 
go around if you need to. <laughs> Skinny though. Look how white it is. I bet you this one weighs well, less than the other. Oh my god. This one probably weighs less than the other one, but that stud, no doubt. Nice job. Whoa. That was awesome. Oh, lay a mark here. Yeah. Freaking giants. Okay, so I'm extremely superstitious. So is Brock. I don't really know if Adam is too much, but uh, every Turny Tuesday, I wear the Lucky Banana shirt. You guys know this. Every Turny Tuesday, B-Rock wears his giant, super thick cutoff bibs, and it's just, these are kind of little mojos that I feel like make a big difference. So tonight, I broke out some Lucky Banana socks to give to Steph. There you go. Put those suckers on. Thank you. <laughs> it's only about 92 degrees out here, so socks are just perfect. Bingo. Go bananas. Socks. <laughs> All right, I think five minute warning. We've got a great boat draw tonight. We're boat number three. I don't know how much it's gonna matter, but a good boat draw always helps. Go. Blast off. Your boat three. Uh, if you're brand new to kind of this series called Tourney Tuesday, what this is is local tournament bass fishing. This is grassroots tournament bass fishing. We need five bass and we need them to be bigger than everybody else. So kind of a, a recap going into the night. Week number one, we got the dub. Week number two, we got the dub. Week number three, we got second. Week number four, I think we got fifth. Week number five, I think we got eighth or ninth. And then week number six, we capped it out with a dub after the 4th of July. So tonight, we're sitting in a really good spot for Angler of the Year. We're gonna go out swinging. I don't really care if we don't catch any fish. We are going for giant bass tonight. We're going for the dub. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna have fun. And here we are, spot number one. What do you need me to do? Good luck, Steph the Great. Let's go. You take your life jacket off and just chill. Oh. Alrighty guys, we're starting on a little rock pile tonight. Steph's throwing a jig worm, I'm throwing a drop shot. And I think we're gonna just fish really slow tonight. I kind of overshot our mark a little bit, but that's okay. Just kind of whip us back around and be good to go. Fish? Yep. Steps on. Steps on. How's it feel? Good. Right here. Right here. It's better. That's not a good one. Right here, take your time. Nice job, first fish of the night. Nice job, Steph. Yes. Let's go. Nice job, nice job. First fish of the night. First fish of the night, I'm back out there again, but I had to update you guys. First fish of the night, all-terrain tackle, mighty head, and then a little blue and black Cinco. I got a feeling I'm gonna be net man tonight, and this is gonna be the step show. And if that's what happens, I think we're gonna crack them. First fish, 23 minutes in, it's a good one too. It's probably like three pounder, maybe a little less, but it's a good one. one. Steph's on again. Steph's on again. I'm, oh shoot, I'm on, I'm on. Oh, I'm on. Yours is big. I gotta open my bed up. Oh, shit. I'm coming. I'm coming. Keep fighting him. I'm coming. Nice job. Okay, put him in the well. I think I have a fish on. Okay. I still have one. It's a big one. It's a big one. Put him in the well. He doubled up. Hold on. Need you. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Need you. Need you. Need you. Don't jump, buddy. Yeah. Nice job. Okay, okay, that's three. That's we should double up. That's three. That's three. Just double up. Go back out there. Okay. We just double up. That was stressful. That was stressful. Yours was big too. Oh, 
we just doubled up. I opened my, I hooked mine, opened my bail, net stuff's freaking big one. And then I'm getting right back up, real mine. And I can't even talk. We're getting back up. Here we go, fish on. Good one. It's a good one. I know. I just don't want to let him out. He's right here. It's all right, he's not a big one. But he helps. It's number four, I'm gonna put a call tag on him. Number four. Once we get that limit, it's just gonna be relaxing. That's what it always feels like for me, at least. Fish, yeah. No, just leave yours out there. Get the net. Just put your rod down. It's okay, just get him what you can. Get him what you can. He's coming. Watch the line get that out of the way. Get him. Nice job, that's number five. It's all right. Not a giant, but number five. I want to tag him too. All right, it feels great to have a limit at what time? 5.38, we have three more hours. Three more hours to catch the big ones. Three of ours were pretty decent size. The last two we can call, but things are going feels well. so good. Feels so good. <laughs> okay. We have three. Put number four over here, okay? Little call, 275, going back. We're slowly making calls. Usually this lake is not a lot of bites. Usually there's good bites, but there's not a lot. Tonight, we're getting a lot of bites. We are calling up like every 10 minutes. I don't totally know what you've seen. Right now, we're still kind of on that long, expansive rock point that we started at. We've just kind of moved down from it. What we're doing is we're just kind of spot locking, then fan casting. So I'm gonna call to Ultrex up there. It's got a little button on it that has an anchor. That's the spot lock. As soon as we get bit, I'm spot locking there. We're trying to make that same cast. We'll fan cast around there. If nothing, I'll move down a little bit. We'll spot lock again, fan cast it out. And we've just been kind of working really, really slow that way. So we need like two more biggies, two more real biggies, and then we'll put this thing in the dirt. time check 659 we have five fish in our live well we've been calling for about an hour and a half estimated probably like 15 to 16 pounds already which is awesome um, we're gonna spot change we're gonna let that spot rest maybe come back to it later on just because it's been so good to us so far so hopefully we'll get one of those big ones and call some out we've got we got hour 45 minutes hour 45 minutes we can two do bites. it two, two bites two two big ones big ones all right, hour 45 minutes. We're not gonna milk these spots like we milk that. We're just gonna kinda, nothing there, next one. Nothing there, next one. Okay, we got 20 minutes left. We're gonna frog this spot, hopefully catch a big bite. 
Fingers crossed. That was some giant pike, do you see yes. it? Fish on. Right. Yeah. yeah, he's 255. He's, he's probably 14 inches, but he's two and a half pounds. That man. So man, I'm on the drop. He's bigger than them, than them right? Yeah. yeah. We got four minutes to run back. We got really good average. We don't have any super donkeys, but like we had two of them that were like 275. And we just cracked like a three pounder on the frog. Give me some of that. Last minute, Stephanie's like, let's go frogging. So we did. Ounces are ounces, and that one really helped. How was your night? It was a great tournament. Oh, I'm so <laughs> excited to weigh this stuff in. I know. Oh, I'm so excited. It's always awesome catching fish, but I think it's really fun catching fish in a tournament or under a time constraint or whether you're just doing a challenge with your buddies or in a tournament because you're forced to really make decisions and own your time and what you want to do with it. And for us to start there and stay there, and then for us even to run way back in this back area and frog it for the last, what, 10 minutes? Those are good decisions. I don't know what everyone caught. People could have super mega bags. This could be nothing, but we had a great time. I had an awesome time had with awesome Dang, time. Steph the Great. All right, let's go weigh these fish in. Number one, beautiful. Number one. Number two. two. Nice. Boop, 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 boop. It's a nice one. Number three. Nice one. With four long, lean post spawn bass. Nice one. Number five. Jeez. Oh, right. Not happy. What do you think it is? <sighs> My guess. Fifteen eight. Okay, I'm gonna guess we got sixteen pounds. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. We just got back to the garage, weigh-ins have completed, we're kind of putting the sexy vexy to bed, and um, yeah, awesome night of bass in the night. We, uh, we ended up weighing in five bass, five alive, for 1728. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talk to, talk to us about the night really quick. What was, um, your, what was your favorite part, and what would have you done different? What went well? Um, favorite part, I would say the double up. Yeah, the double that up was, on the four pounders. That was pretty fun um, and kind of hectic. So that was really fun. I wouldn't change where we started. I would say maybe we could have tried frogging a little earlier because we had heard that they had caught about like a, what, five pounder, a couple bigger ones out frogging too. So um, maybe we would have tried that a little bit if we had swapped spots and done different things. But I think overall we had a really good tournament and I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have changed much. And um, what was 17 pounds good enough for? 17 pounds was good enough for third place. Third place. Let me zoom in there. Third place tonight, which is actually insane. There was somebody that got an 18 pound bag yep. and then somebody that got a 17 pound bag a little bit heavier than us. Mm -hmm. And one of them caught him deep and one of them caught him shallow. Yep. Like always, I'll link all the gear we used today down below, but key baits tonight. All train tackle, mighty head, jig head. Yep. The jig worm approach, that's Steph's freaking bread and butter. That's what she throws everywhere. I wish, 
You guys don't see Steph very much on the channel, and I think that's because I don't film a lot on the weekends when we go fishing a lot, but we spend a lot of time in the water, and the amount of high fours and five pounders that Steph has caught this year on the jig worm alone is, is disgusting, and I wish I had more of it on footage, but on the weekends, we like to just go bassing. Yeah. Yeah, and that's okay. Besides the jig worm tonight, uh, I was using a little VMC tungsten weight with a finesse VMC Nico hook for the drop shot. That's my bread and butter. I like throwing that way more over a jig worm. And uh, yeah, those two baits alone kind of... Killed it for the tournament. Yeah, they crushed it. So yeah. besides that, I'll link everything down below. We found so many awesome spots tonight on the hummingbirds. The Raptor saved us when we went shallow. It's, but yeah, besides that, I'll link the rest of the gear down below. All the Sobe rods we caught the fish on today and everything else. Huge shout out to Intune Marine and the Sexy Vexy again. This boat has been so freaking lucky. As far as where we are in points for Angler of the Year, we're definitely leading it. Um, we're getting dang envelopes every single week and uh, I couldn't be more happy. So yeah, thank you guys for watching the video all the way to the end. I truly appreciate it. I guess there's nothing left to be said than stay tuned. And as always, let the adventure begin. So Oh my pretty babe, something ain't right Got to find a way to move ahead